It's about 10 minutes to 10 on Sunday morning, November 10th. <laughs> 10 to 10 on the 10th. And we just got to Turnbull National Wildlife Refuge. It's a foggy morning. It's about 36 degrees foggy. when we pulled in here. But we're going to go for a hike. Got our packs on. Sherry has her, what style pack is that? Uh, Z-Packs. And Sherry's got her Z-Packs Arc Blast. About is it the blast or the haul? 13 pounds? Is it I the blast remember. or the haul? Haul, I think. Arc haul. Weighs about 13 pounds. I've got my... With water. Gregory. 60 liter Gregory Amber 60 on. And it is about 15 pounds. I have a full one liter of water. Sherry has a smaller bottle, um, 700 ml bottle of water. And we're gonna walk a bluebird trail. Uh, that is about a mile and a half to the, it meets up with the road. Here's the road here. So it meets up uh, further down with the road after about a mile and a half or so, uh, and then we'll walk the road back and it'll make for a four mile loop. So we'll get ourselves situated here and um, get back with you. Lead dog. Rough trail. It's starting to smell nice. It's peaceful. Sherry. Got some rocks down here. Good practice to see where I need to hold this to make sure my face and head are in frame as we go. Alright, come on. And if I do this, if we're going to see Sherry behind me or not, for times that she's behind me. So we are at the service road, the Bluebird Trail joins up with a service road 0.6 miles from the parking lot. So we'll be walking on the gravel service road here for a little bit. Uh, that direction goes back down to the visitor center and the headquarters. Here's the trail we just came off. And Bluebird Trail continues in this direction. Okay. Let's go, B.
Okay, this is where the gravel part of the road splits off this way. Uh, service road does go down there, follows the power lines. And we're going back into the forested area via this road. That was about another 0.4 miles, so we've gone one full mile so far. Oh. There we go. Don't know if that translated onto the GoPro or not, but my Map My Run app just let me know that was one mile. I'll look off to the right here for a second. Just through these, through these little wispy trees out in that direction. That's where we just came from. I'm hearing, I'm hearing, I have my straps on my pack kind of squeak, make a little noise. So I'm kind of curious to know if that turns up on the video as well. Can you hear me? Huh? Can you hear my pack squeaking as I walk? Um. I don't know if that's going to come out or not. Here, let's see if you can hear my pack squeaking as I walk. I can tell it's my straps. I don't know if it's squeaking. Well, it's kind of like a, like a crinkling yeah. kind of a sound. And I can definitely tell it's my straps. Something that I'm sure will, I'm sure it'll work itself out over time with use. Oh well, yeah, let's get ten more pounds in there. <laughs> yeah, that's true. This tree blew down here across the trail. It's a pretty tree. I'm gonna like it on that. And then when we get past this, off to our right is another pond. More water down that way. All right. So we're keeping our eyes open for wildlife. A few times we've been here, uh, we've seen moose twice. Lots of deer. Plenty of um, ducks. Possum, porcupine. Possum? We saw possum? Or no, I guess porcupine. Porcupine. Yeah, we saw porcupine. Uh, and once my folks were visiting, we saw a bald eagle. Up in a tree. <laughs> uh, squishy. So there's plenty of wildlife around. Yeah, we are kind of noisy. There's a couple areas up ahead uh, on the uh, the road, the car loop, where they have uh, blinds, photo blinds. You can go sit and be out of sight and be quiet and just watch for wildlife. Yeah. 
Always a good idea to look behind you too. You never know what might be crossing the trail behind you or peeking out from behind a tree after you've passed. All right, we're coming up to the end of the Bluebird Trail, and we've got 1.6 miles done. So that's just over a mile and a half. So it's 1.6. And then we're gonna walk the road back. Oh, that's cute. Do we want a road walk or just go back the same way? Or? I was thinking road walk. Okay. I was thinking we could just road walk. All good. You good for road walk? Whatever works for you, works for me. Alrighty. That works for you, Bailey? You better on your paws? Last time we did the road walk, we saw that moose. Well, that's true. The mama moose and the baby. So here's the road. Back this way will get us to the car. And in this direction, um, it continues on with the, it's a 5.5 mile auto loop. Stops at some other uh, little trailheads along the way. And we're just going to road walk through the woods here and hope we see some wildlife on our way. These colors are just beautiful. Onward. Ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's do this. Over here on the right is another parking area for one of the other trailheads. This is the 30 acre lake trailhead. basically just a one-way trail goes yeah, 30 acre lake hiking trail foot traffic only so it uh, ends um, the other end of the trail is another parking area on this road so you can either have two cars and do one way and drive yourself back, or do one way down and one way up walking and get back to your car. Make a uh, out and back of it. How's your pack feel? Great. Yeah? Pretty comfortable? Yep. This is the longest you've walked with it on? Uh, yeah. Four, it's gonna be four miles? Oh yeah, I've done two. Okay, it's all good. Perfect. Yeah, mine so far is feeling good. Make some adjustments around the shoulder straps. They're kind of, I can feel an area that's a little rubby. So I'll kind of play around with the adjustments on it, but I think 15 pounds is big picture, not a lot of weight. But for the first day out with the pack on, 15 pounds, it feels okay. 
There's the road. And a little side shoot trail here is the Black Horse Lake Trail. This one actually is marked at 0.55 for distance. So we just took a second and stretched our calves and legs out here on some rocks. And uh, we're going to walk up here real quick. Come on, B. Let's just see what's up here. Sherry's already ahead of me. Huh? <laughs> she pissed off some ducks. I heard him. Hold on, baby. Yeah, so this comes out to, there's some picnic tables out here. It looked like they're in bad shape, actually. Some picnic tables out here. Let me go ahead of you. Bailey's pulling ahead, so. Come here, baby. And it does continue on beyond the tables. Uh, we did it once. And it makes just kind of like a just a small loop up ahead a little ways and then comes right back down this way. So there's not a lot to this one. I guess it's mainly just a place to come and sit and look at nature. That's the Black Horse Lake Trail. We just did that little short jaunt back on the main road. And all along the car, 5.5 uh, mile car loop, there's places to stop with some picnic shelters and uh, bathrooms. several areas for that along the way. We spent a lot of time down here over the years um, just bringing lunch, stopping at various spots and having something to eat. Picnic. A picnic. Having a picnic. We've ridden our bikes around. We've ridden our bicycles, yes. Uh, encountered one of the uh, moose. Father's Day a few years ago on our bikes. That was kind of nice. Ran right in front of Dad. Yep. We can see the car. I'll get the total mileage when we stop. But it's pretty close to four miles, I think. I kind of did a quick check of it yesterday, and it, when I mapped it out, it came up to just about four miles. It cleared up a little bit as we went. Fog isn't as uh, dense. A little bit brighter. Good, good practice for the, uh, the GoPro too today. My, my phone says four miles. Sherry's phone just squawked at her and says four miles. For some reason, our map my run apps are not. The mileage isn't in sync. We differ by oh a third of a mile maybe. Bailey. Well, thank you for coming along with us today. 
good, a good walk for sure. Back at the car. I think we survived. First day and a long walk with packs. Let's go eat. <laughs>